Guys, Jay Walters here. Welcome down to West Hill Golf Club here in Surrey for a really, really important series um, which is all designed about helping you play better golf. It is what I believe are the five most important shots that you're going to play when you play golf. So, all these shots we're going to start on the tee box where we are now, moving down to approach shots from the fairway those tricky non-full shots when you're pitching into the greens, when you've missed the green, those green side shots to help you get up and down and holding more of those tricky but really important shortish putts. So let's take a look at shot number one. Shot number one is on the tee shot. Now for me one of the biggest things that really really makes people miss fairways is trying to do something that you don't have in the locker. If you have a specific pattern, then play your pattern. If your pattern is to hit a fade, hit a fade. If it's to hit a draw, hit a draw. Don't try and hit a draw when you hit a fade. Don't try and hit a fade when you hit a draw if you've not practiced it and practiced it. Because when it counts, when you see the trouble, when you're looking down the fairway, you're not gonna really execute that particular shot. So number one, you've got to play with what you have. That might change from day to day. You might hit one load of shots really straight. The next day, you might hit with a bit of draw or a bit of a pull. The next day, you might hit with a bit of a push or a bit of a slice. Go with what you've got on the day. The next point to have a look at is use the full area of the team ground. See too many people walking up, getting their golf ball, teeing it up, slap bang, in between the markers. The only thing that really does for you is it narrows down the funnel that you're going to hit your golf ball into. What I mean by the funnel is your area for hitting target. If we look at the fairway of being, say, maybe what, 40, 45 yards wide, if you hit a slice or a fade and tee up here, then your funnel to keep it in play is only the 15 yards to the left hand side of the fairway. If you don't start it there, you're going to miss a lot of fairways. If you hit it with a draw or a hook from the middle of the fairway, you've got the same option. So use the area you've got. If you're a slicer, or a fader of the golf ball, get yourself into the furthest point on the right hand side that you can comfortably tear up. From that point, you give yourselves 45 to 50 yards of fairway to hit because you're hitting out to the left, letting the ball come back. So if it fades a little, left side of the fairway. If it fades a lot, right side of the fairway. If you hit the golf ball from right to left, get your feet outside the box. The ball has to be within the parameters, but not the golfer. Now you're opening up again that 45 to 50 yards of potential hitting the fairway area. So take advantage of it. Play with what you've got. Make your zone as big as you possibly can. Now, I have a rule. It's called the three and four rule. If I said to every one of you out there, and I want you to post your comments in the box below to answer this question. If you could be in the fairway between 100 and 130 yards away from the green, would you take it every day? I want to see a lot of yeses in the comments because everybody would. So why would you take a driver out on a 350 yard par four. If it starts with a three, you're using your fairway wood. I use my three wood or I'll use my two iron. I would only get driver out if it started with a four, with the exception of if I was playing into a really strong wind, because I don't want to hit fairway wood or two iron and leave myself 200 yards in. I'd rather hit driver and leave myself 150 in. So, but if you there, if it started with a three and conditions were okay, if you teed it up with your hybrid, with your driving iron, with your fairway wood and hit the fairway and had 120 yards into the green, you're going to hit more fairways because you're going to be more comfortable hitting eight iron and nine iron and wedge from those distances 
and also confidence gets higher because you're hitting fairways off the tee. So make sure you don't just pull driver out because it's a tee box and it's not a par three. Okay, number four, commit to your shot. Don't try and guide it, don't keep it away from trouble. Don't try and look down the fairway and say, oh, there's trouble on the left and I hit it left, so I'm gonna try and poke it and guide it off to the right hand side because the chances are you're not going to do anything you're going to be in between and you're going to make a right mess of everything so you've got to trust the club selection pick your target out in the distance and it could be a stripe on the fairway that you want to hit it into it could be towards a tree in the distance draw an imaginary line back down to a couple of inches in front of your golf ball so you would select so say i've teed it up high I'm going to go in, I'm going to set the face, then I'm going to build the stance, then I can pull the trigger, then I can commit to my swing and go. So commit to your swing, but don't always hit driver. So on this hole here, this isn't a driver hole for me. I'm going to hit two iron. Under those 300, those 400 yard distance, so I'm going to tee it up a little lower. Notice the T there is literally just the width of my finger off the ground. So it just gives you that little perfect height to be able to squeeze through. So I hit the ball with a little bit of right to left. So notice now I am on the left side of the T. I'm making my funnel massive. I can aim down the right half now, knowing that if it goes straight, I'm in the right half. If it draws as it would normally do, I'm gonna bring me back into the middle or a fraction to the left hand side. So. I'm gonna pick out my target. Now I like to sort of line the top end of the shaft up to that point that I wanna see at the far end. I'm then gonna put the grip end over the golf ball and then I'm gonna pull in a straight line the club shaft over the ball where the head is then just a couple of inches in front of the golf ball. That point I'm gonna keep my eyes on and that's me square in the face. Then I'm gonna build the stance for my two iron, it's going to be the ball almost underneath the logo of the shirt. From here, I'm going to have a little waggle just to keep everything nice and relaxed. I'm going to look down to my target, settle in and pull the trigger. And there, tiniest little bit of draw so I'm in the right side of the fairway. I'm in play and I've got a really short club in for my next shot. Follow those rules and you'll hit much, much, much more fairways. Give yourself better opportunities for the next shot, the next important one, which is approach shot to the green, making sure you give yourself opportunities.